Welcome to the bike man for you. I get this one all the time. Bike man, how come that bike costs $69.99.99 at Walmart, Toys R Us, Target, wherever, and your bike costs $300? Wow! Well, let me tell you what the difference is. Come on in. Let me show you what's going on. I got two bicycles here. I got a beautiful Giant Simple and I've got a Pacific Oceanside Cheap Piso. P.O.S. is what we call them, a P.O.S. If you need to look that up, look it up, P.O.S. Uh, this specific P.O.S. is coming into us because it has this extreme high squeal when you're pedaling it. It's the bearings of let loose inside of here, I guarantee you. We're going to look it up. We're going to open it up together right now, and I'm going to show you the lack thereof of grease. I have not opened it up. This is not staged. That's not the way we do things at Bike Man for You. Maybe there's some grease in there, but I got a sneaky feeling that they forgot the grease. Okay, uh, if you look at the beautiful Giant Simple, it has a sealed car bottom bracket cartridge. Just the part alone is $30 to your door if it ever may have had a malfunction. Okay? There's one of the things, just one of the things. The guts of the bicycle, the bottom bracket, this bearing right in here, okay? Let's open it up and see what the old cheapo Walmart bikes got in there, all right? All right, so I've done this job once, twice, three times, lady. Oh, this kickstand's loose too while we're here. The easiest thing to do whenever you're opening up one of these American one-piece bottom brackets is Take the chain guard off and take the left pedal off as well. So let's pop that pedal off. Oh my goodness, that thing was loose. There's even a little bit of play in here. Ay, ay, ay. Um, one more quickie for you, all right? Um, what makes this bicycle so much cheaper than my beautiful giant simple? is the pedal. This pedal here is an El Cheapo Rama, blah, blah, blah. This pedal is 9 16 into an aluminum shaft. Can you get that on right, son of a shot? I turn that around for you, sir? Here, let me make it in a little easier. Just a better looking pedal, if you know what I'm saying. And it's just a better, okay? So let's go into this. Let's open this bottom bracket up and see what's inside. Just to keep things simple and easy, like I said, take the chain guard off. It's, I know, it's an extra step. Well, this one you gotta go from this side. Might wanna do a little traveling, a little traveling music. Dun, 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 dun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, here we go. You might want to get on the other side, son of a... Oh, baby. But the lack of grease is probably why she's squealing. Oh, the bearings are popping out already on the race. And, and there. Okay, there it is. She's bent. She's beat up. Whoops. And that's what's going on. And as you can see, there is really, there's like no grease inside of here. Uh, I think what they did is they did, you know, like what my father used to ask on his bagel was just a schmear. Not load the thing up, but just a schmear of cream cheese. <laughs> they put just a schmear of cream grease on there. And that was it. All of this blackness, this bike is not that old as you can see, uh, it's it got relatively no miles, but what little miles it did have was metal to metal, and that's what all of this blackness is, it's metal shavings. This is also just that little bit bent when it was in there, uh, we're going to put new bearings in there, I'm probably going to put new cups in there, but there it is. Why do you buy a Walmart bike? Because they're cheap. Should you buy a Walmart bike because they're cheap? Hey, you make the call. Buy a bike once, keep it for a lifetime. Buy a bike and get a new one every other year. I don't know. It sure does look nice, though. I want you to never fear. The bike man for you is here.